I wanted to do, uh, do um, a review on, I'll just say it, one of my favorite backpack manufacturers, and that is Mystery Ranch, all right? And they're based in the U.S., uh, in, in Montana, so kind of like the Pacific Northwest area. So today, this is uh, the three-day assault pack, all right? But Mystery Ranch makes a whole bunch of packs. So this one's their assault pack. They have other packs that are leaning more towards hiking, such as the Scree. Um, there's so many kinds I can go on and on. But today we're going to focus on our assault packs. This is a three-day assault, the CL version, which I assume stands for civilian. We also have the Mystery Ranch three-day with the BVS system, the bolster ventilation system. Okay. I've seen people who don't have body armor and who wear that system and say it's it's so comfortable. All right, just as a little bit of a comparison in terms of size and stuff. This is the little brother, the one day assault pack in foliage color. Now this one's not available for sale in the United States, even though it is made in the United States. Okay, it's only available in the, the Asian market. All right, so just a side by side. Okay, this one, the one day is only an 18 liter pack. All right, it's really good. I love it. I've done some reviews on it, but I won't talk about it too much. But how about the three day? How about this big brother? How big is it? So the one day is 18 liters, but three day is about 33 liters. So nearly double of the one day. Okay, so this is in my opinion, one of my favorites. For why? Well, number one is the color. Uh, I know I'm going against the, 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 the populace or the mainstream, but most people like to go with ranger green or foliage nowadays. I like the old school stuff, and I like the fact that they had it available in the Olive Drab, the TAC OD. I know the colors may vary depending on the manufacturer. I don't care. still wanted it. I'm a kind of person who doesn't go for black pack packs because they show dusts and other things easily. That's just an opinion thing. Um, this is also available in Coyote Brown. You can get that in brown as well. So brown, green, black. Sometimes they have a multi-cam version which you'll have to pay a premium for, all right? So let's start out with the external stuff really quickly. One of the things I really, really love about this pack is the top portion. Okay, some may call this a top loader just because of the fact that it's much like, you know, a hiking bag. So you open the top and you just dump everything in. However, don't, don't be so hasty. Let's look at these top pockets. I absolutely love them. All right. So the first one is going to be a small pocket, which is primarily for, I assume, eyewear. Okay, so in here I have a little Sony Walkman. Why? Well, you know, just to separate things that can get scratched up, things that are fragile. But this is a pretty good eyewear pocket. I mean, you can put two or three pairs of shades in there, no problem. Got a little field patch here, if you're a patch crazy person. Okay, now here comes the pocket that I really love. Okay, the One Day doesn't have it. Uh, I believe the Urban Assault does not have it. But this is a big selling point for me. And this pocket is not even going into the main compartment yet. This is, see this, this top pocket, it's, it's lovely, this. This is a, a Maxpedition or organizer. So you can tell it's not, it's not small, it's not big, but it easily fits in there. This top pocket is gonna be your main go-to. I mean, you could put so much, so many things in there. And as well, you don't have to worry about the, the, the strength in there. It's awesome mesh. It's thick. It's tough. The zippers are smooth. These are YKK zippers, all right? I mean, it's smooth as silk. They got the rain guard on there, all right? And yeah, Mystery Ranch, uh, their whole unique concept is this three, three zip design, okay? All right, if you look... On the back, I didn't mention the zip because I didn't want that. But on the back, we have another zip here. All right, so this zip 
this, okay, there's two zippers you can open from either side. Okay, so this is for if you do have a hydration, hydration bladder or if you have a radio, whatever. So if you need an area to pass through tube, wire, you can do that on either side. All right, and then you can, uh, you can uh, route your, your hydro, uh, sorry, if you have a hydration bladder, you can route your tubing through here. Okay, so it's a really awesome bag, I love it. Uh, the materials are made out of 500D Cordura. All right, so 500D Cordura, why not 1,050? Well, a lot of manufacturers do that. Uh, they're going for the 100% tactical feel. Although this is called a 3D assault pack, it can basically do anything. So I think the 500D Cordura is a good balance. Why? It's really super strong. It's abrasion resistant, okay? It's not waterproof, all right? It's water resistant. It's a big difference, all right? But if this whole thing was 1050, it might be a little bit heavy. So that's the reason why. And also, I just found out that within manufacturers, although they might say I'm using 500D Cordura, okay, this is where person's using 500D Cordura, there are levels within this, okay? Some person's materials might actually feel better, okay? Now, the only gripe I have on the outside before we go inside is that I wish the bottom was reinforced. I wish the bottom of the bag was reinforced to 1050. Some of the, uh, some manufacturers do that and it makes complete sense. Even though the, uh, the bottom of the uh, laptop sleeve is elevated above the ground, it would be good to have some reinforcement on the ground. All right, so let's take a look inside now. Okay, before we go inside, I keep on forgetting. On the outside, you see here, um, it's less busy than the two-day. Okay, I had the two-day, I thought it was a good um, middle ground. Uh, just the design put me off. However, the two day is good because it has one thing that both of them don't have, and that is an external side uh, laptop compartment access. All right, that, that's a pretty cool idea. I love that. Too bad they didn't have that with the three day. All right, so you're only gonna have two compression straps on the outside. All right. The one day doesn't have those because it's, it's a small liter pack, so it's gonna be cleaner. But I think this looks better because the 2-day has too much molly going across the front. You have two side pockets here. These are for water bottles or whatever. I'm not going to sell analogy like every review does, but you can put whatever you want in there. I can put my organizer in there. I can put my gloves in there. It doesn't have to be a water bottle. Okay, in fact, I would, why would I put a water bottle in there? It'd probably fall out. So you see here? Look at that. That pocket swallows up this organizer, no problem. So you can put your gloves in there, whatever. Okay, so that's the outside of the bag. Already plenty of uh, pockets on the outside. I love it. Okay, uh, daisy chain in the front and on the sides, just a little bit of molly, but not too much, just enough. Okay, all right, let's go inside. Pockets, all right, let's open up these outside pockets. They have YKK zippers throughout. These are massive. You can just beat the hell out of them, you know, don't worry. This is why I like up Misty Ranch is because the materials they use. I like the big zippers. All right, they got the rain guard on there, prevent any water from seeping in. Okay, so the lid is open now. It's really good because it's mesh see-through. You can quickly see what's in there. All right, so in the bag, before we can open it up, we have to unbuckle these two nice, Buckles, these are good quality, nice, uh, satisfying snap to them. Okay, so I can just whoop, come all the way down. And this is the, the nature of the threes at design. Okay, all right. So this is how a, th uh, a, th uh, sorry, a threes at design is, is gonna be packed out, kind of, maybe I'm the weirdo, okay. So, on either side, we have large pockets. This is good. This is, you can just see the, the hiking uh, DNA or the influence that's put into these bags. But these are huge pockets, okay? The one day does not have them. I'm not blaming it because it's, it needs to have a, it's, a, it's too small, but check it out. 
This is a one liter thermos, okay? I can easily put one on either side. See that? No effort. So if you're a water person, you don't have to worry. Okay, these, ba uh, sorry, these, these pockets are very, very useful. Put anything in them or you don't have to use them. It's up to you. I just was amazed when uh, this, I just love big ass pockets. <laughs> Even more if they have zippers. Okay, let's continue on. So I'll take this out here. All right, here's one of uh, Mystery Ranch's uh, 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 bags. Okay, Mystery Ranch, this is not a bang on the brand, but they don't tend to have a lot of organization in their, pack, uh, in their bags, meaning there's not a lot of zip pockets, mesh pockets, drop pockets. That's, that's fine, that's fine, that's their, that's their style. But here's one of the pouches that they have. I think it's just called a, a Zoid bag or, I don't know, excuse me, I forgot the name, but it's by Missy Ranch, different colors. It's, it's not bad, okay. I just had to find something to fit in here to take up the room, okay. It's not taking up all the room because it can fit so much stuff. That's why I love this bag. I can just store everything in there and if anything, I'm underpacked. All right, if anything, I'm underpacked. All right, see, I got all that stuff out now. Now check that out. All right, so in here, this is where we're gonna have our laptop storage, okay? And the laptop is actually suspended above the base of the ground approximately an inch. Does that mean you should throw your bag around? No, use common sense, all right, bro? Um, there's a little loop here, and you can use that to hang another hydration uh, bladder. You can hang whatever, whatever you want. Okay, I believe they can fit up to 17 inch laptops. Always put your laptop in the case first and then test it. There's no way I'm gonna whack my uh, MacBook or fit 40, 50, or I don't know how much they cost, thousand, two thousand dollars. It's expensive stuff. So here's the here's the laptop compartment. Okay, you can see my my 13 inch MacBook Air with the case. No problems. All right. So just the weight on itself brings it in there. Nice fit. I love it. Okay. On the front of that is a very small slip pocket, very small. I could say you could probably fit like a little mini tablet in there or maybe uh, an, some kind of documents. It's very small, okay? Very small, but doesn't mean it's not useful, okay? All right, so that is the laptop uh, compartment. You can use it as the hydration bladder, okay? That, once again, is up to you, all right? Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is the organization, which I briefly said, Mystery Ranch tends to not have a lot of organization. Okay, well that's that's just their style, all right. But I have to say that I'm 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 really amazed by the huge pockets that they have. Now on the inside, like I mentioned earlier, they have these two drop pockets which can fit these massive water bottles up to liter in size. On top of that, on either side, there's a nice zip pocket. Okay, this thing is huge. All right, I would say it's about seven, eight inch deep, it's really big. This is the nice um, drop, sorry, nice zippered mesh pocket. It's really uh, easy to access from the top. It's huge, it's strong. Now here's the, the really, really important thing is that with other uh, models in the line, they don't have a pass through in the back. You see that? I can actually pass my hand through the back of the pocket. Now, why is that important? Well people who are uh, going hiking, fishing, uh, you're going to camping, whatever. Maybe you have a, a score to settle, you have an ax. You're able to put long items through there, okay? And then have them sticking out of the bag. Get the idea? So if you have any long items, you're able to store them here, which is really, really, really creative, really clever, really smart. The two day did not have that. Uh, I'm not sure about the urban assaults. I'm pretty sure they do not. Usually the stitch at the bottom, but this was good to have it floating. Okay, awesome. So even though uh, the, uh, the organization is not on par with other, other uh, brands, that's not what they're going for, but what they have done is done some really clever stuff. Okay, now let's go into more detail inside, more of a zoom in, all right?
So there's two grommet holes here, one, two. So that's the base of the bag. It's pretty big. Okay. And you can kind of see the lip of the Futura yoke harness. All right. And here is the laptop. Uh, see the laptops in there. Okay. As you can see, it's not coming down completely. So it is elevated above the ground. Okay. It is suspended. So you don't have to worry there. All right. So I, I personally like to have uh, backpacks where the laptop is within the main compartment, not on the back panel, but that's, that's just me. That's just a personal opinion. But as you see inside, uh, this might be something weird for uh, people who come from a clamshell uh, backpack style or, or whatever, but trust me, once you try uh, this tri-zip design, you'll find that it's very versatile and it's, it's easy to pack stuff in a hurry. So it's it's just uh, this three day assault pack is just I would say it's yeah one of my one of my favorites so it's a must have for the review this is the mystery ranch three day assault pack CL in taco D color and thank you again for watching this review I also I've also done a review in the one day assault pack if you want to check that out as well. So once again, thanks guys and have a good new year.